Welcome to an impromptu vlog here on the marathon. Um, we're gonna try and do a makeshift project together. My name's Mayor. Thanks for hanging out today. Lace up, subscribe, join the marathon or family. Uh, if you are new to my channel, I have a book coming out. It's called Finding Your Cape. And I am getting set to record the audio version myself, the audio book, which I'm really excited about. But I am currently figuring out how to make it sound as good as possible. With a background in radio, I am super particular about sound quality, obviously. And so um, I have a very lovely producer, Jen, who's helping me. And she's given me some tips and stuff and I've been sending her some tester audio. And today I sent her some and I've been recording it in my office and it just doesn't sounded exactly how I wanted it to sound. So then I got the ridiculous idea to go sit in my closet and it sounded so much better. So we are gonna try and turn my bedroom closet into a makeshift recording studio. <laughs> That's a normal thing to do on a Wednesday afternoon, right? <laughs> so um, here's some photos from earlier today of me sitting on the floor amongst my clothes recording some tester audio for Jen. One day I will look back on this clip and I will say like my first book was recorded in my bedroom closet. Anywho, so I was sitting on the floor thinking like, okay, yes, this is how we're gonna do it. And he was like, you are not sitting on the floor to record a ton of audio, like hours on hours on hours. He's like, I'll never see you. You'll need to do yoga like all the time to stretch out. So we were going over some stuff and trying to figure out how we could make it work. And then um, he made a really good point that like, it's good to have a long diaphragm when you're talking so you can have good air flow. I hope this is an interesting video to you. I basically just wanted to film it because A, I think it's super cool that I'm trying to create a studio to record my first audio book, like self high five. And B, I want to show you the process so that when you're listening to the book, you can be like, this was recorded in her closet. That's a little like behind the scenes marathon or fun fact. Okay. Anyway, so he was like, you wanna be like sitting properly so you get good air, you know, while you're talking. And then I said, well, actually, the whole time, well, not the whole time, but the last few years of doing the morning show, I stood the whole show and that's my preference. So, cut to, we were like, okay, let's go try and find something <laughs> that you can put in your closet so you can stand and that's what you're sitting on right now. So we just went for lunch, and then we went to the Salvation Army, walked in, and we were both like, is that your shelf? Is that exactly what you're looking for? So we measured it, and um, this was perfect. It was just sitting in the Salvation Army, waiting, and I'll show it to you. I'm about to um, disinfect it, but I'll show it to you first. I know it's not gonna look like much. I think it's an old stereo stand. So this is what it looks like. Ta-da, I know, boring. It used to have a bunch of glass shelves, but we just donated them back because we didn't need them. So now I'm gonna disinfect this. I was thinking of painting it, but TBH, I don't want to. So I'm just gonna try and like make it look as pretty as possible. Maybe we'll paint it, we don't know. I'm just gonna show you this little trick. So this is just the little label that was on there from the Salvation Army and I can't get it off. If you ever have um, price tags or anything like that, you know how Winners and Home Sense are sort of notorious for having stuff like this on the glass that's hard to get off. Just use a little lemon essential oil. This is just a cheapo one that I got also from Winners and I basically use it pretty much exclusively for this purpose. Sometimes I diffuse it, but you just put a little bit of oil on here and it'll take it off, no problem. Okay, so I took some stuff out of the closet. It's looking like a bit of a mess in here, but, so this is just my bedroom closet. <laughs> this is where the computer was sitting earlier, and then we just moved the clothes to try and get an idea. Initially we thought we'd take these down, but I still want this to be a functioning closet. Like, girl still needs to be able to hang her clothes. So, I'm gonna try and put this in there, 
but just put it like in and out as I need it. So wish me luck. <laughs> this, I also thought I could have sat on this and we were gonna get like a little desk, but decided not to. Fun fact, in case you're wondering, this super cute ottoman was from Winners. Is this the most random video? Welcome to my channel, everybody. Because who doesn't just have twinkle lights randomly? succulent for ambiance. Installed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Update. It doesn't fit. Even though we measured. <laughs> it doesn't fit. So we're going to plan B. And um I'm glad that you're along for this journey and you can see what's gonna happen. I'm sweating. I think I've put on my sweatpants. He's moving my clothes. We're rearranging the closet. Self-made, self-published, self-recording. One day we'll look back on this and say, remember that time you recorded your book in your closet with something you bought from the Salvation Army that didn't fit? We're gonna make it work. It's happening. Now I'm like pot committed and determined. <laughs> Again, just a, just a normal thing to be doing, right? Okay, so um, we've basically now taken all of my clothes out. It's not working as we expected. I'm gonna do a little testy and see um, if I like the sound or not. Excuse me, excuse me, I'll be right back. Okay, update. So this is what it looks like right now. Does not look amazing. Oh, look how professional and pretty. Look at it. Wouldn't that be awesome if that's where I was recording the book? The audio sounds not as good. It sounds basically like it did in my office. I can't believe how much the clothes helped. So now I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but it, it, it's just not gonna work. Dang it! Showing you how this has escalated. Now all of my clothes are out of the closet. Everything is. And he's talking about moving a panel. <laughs> okay, now I have a good old lac table from Ikea. And I'm gonna see if this will work. So I'm gonna have to go back to sitting on the ground, but we have learned that we have to have the clothes in there. So my closet looks like empty, almost. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put this together and then see if I can make this work. So it fits, but I don't understand how I would sit here for, I don't know, 50 hours recording <laughs> with clothes that would be hanging, by the way. The unicorn wants to take this out and swap them, which is probably what you're all screaming at the camera should happen. So you want to move the long one to there so that that would fit. That's what you think. And you think it's going to take you 10 minutes to do that. Yeah. Now you're 10 ready. minutes once I have the drill in my hand. Doesn't count for me have to go all the way down the basement. That doesn't count. This was just supposed to be a simple project. Oh, hello. Update. It's now in here. Most of my clothes are now in here. I'll never know what's in here, but right now I'm trying to fill it with as many pillows as possible to get rid of the echo. So we have random pillows, random pillows. This I bought on Amazon because I thought this would be enough, but then I realized I'm too picky. So now we're going to do another test. Please buy my book. It's 
been an hour and a half since we got home and we have a fully functioning recording studio in my bedroom that sounds aces and like I said at the beginning this former radio gal very picky about sound so I'm really excited about it considering uh the stand was $26.50 at the thrift store which even that was a little bit pricey but it's for the Salvation Army it's a good cause so we you know continue that's it that's all we bought literally <laughs> it looks good I'm glad I didn't paint it let me show you my home studio shall we feels like cribs oh where the magic will happen what? Look at this. I'm definitely gonna just perf like perform. I'm gonna record by the light of the twinkle lights, but so you can see what it actually looks like in here. Look at this little you do you sweatshirt. And then you pan up. We got a little decor happening. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Look at this. I am shook. I think that's what the kids say. I am very impressed with how <laughs> good it sounds and <laughs> that we figured it out. Huge shout out to the unicorn who figured out that we should move that to that. Clearly this is temporary. This isn't always how my closet's gonna look, but even in saying that, I'm sure this is how my closet's gonna look for a really long time and I love it. Okay. <sighs> Finding Your Cape, an audiobook coming to you soon from my bedroom. That sounds, I no, you know what I mean. That is today's episode of the marathon. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I'm feeling really good about this studio. And um, now I'm just gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do about my clothes. For now, they'll be fine in there, honestly. And we might do another layer of clothes, like another smaller doweling. I'm not really sure, but I honestly, I'm just so happy. So gonna start recording the audiobook and maybe some other exciting projects. Who knows? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Lace up, subscribe, become a marathoner. Life's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And this marathon, I'm gonna be recording my audiobook in my bedroom closet. <laughs> Normal things. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.